I'll bet you were worried about that storm, weren't you, Jonah? It sure was. Thought I'd never go to sleep. You? Thunder woke me up three times. Rip Van Winkle here slept through the night. I thought he might be worried because I didn't come home. Nonsense. I told him you were with Cagney. So he knew you were all right. Smart son I have. You bet. You guys manage all right without electricity? Oh, yes. We had candles and a uh, fireplace. It's very romantic. And you had something to eat? A can of beans, our favorite. <laughs> and Cagney served me breakfast in bed. Stale toast and instant coffee. Oh, sounds wonderful. <laughs> I have something wonderful to tell you. Better than stale bread and instant coffee? Mm, I think so. Should I sit down? I can't tell you everything. I can't tell you this much. This time, nothing and no one is going to stand in my way. Can't move me, Carter. Stinks just like the rest of us. If I have to, I'll trash this whole house. Is it? I knew it. You were stupid enough to leave it here. See what happens when you play me for a fool, Hamilton? which has my nose out of joint. It is the editorial broadcast by your news staff. To put it into language, which I feel sure you will be able to understand, it was garbage, as in rotten stinko trash. Fine. Well, I'm sure you know where to file this one. Justine? What? Never mind. Okay, on to the next business. Now, I reviewed these letters, and I must admit your typing's getting better, but your spelling still leaves everything to be desired. Next time, when in doubt, might I suggest the dictionary? Hello? Are you getting the flu? Justine? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Exactly my point. You haven't caught much this morning. Sometimes with a cold, the eustachian tubes get blocked. They're in your ear. Oh. Perhaps there's a draft in your hotel room. Yes, no, maybe. Great, just what I need. A receptionist with no voice. Since when do you care if I have a voice? Do you listen? Does anybody listen? And who am I supposed to talk to? My best friend disappeared to California. My roommate kicked me out. Susie threatens to hang me up by my thumbnails if I so much as look at Cagney McCleary. And most of the time, all you do is tell me to stop yakking and get clacking. So I guess my life isn't a lot to talk about, is it? Well, now that we've cleared the air, how's everything else? I mean, is your hotel room comfortable? Why don't we stop kidding ourselves? You could put me up in the Taj Mahal and Cagney is not going to come any closer. Oh, you're making much too much over a momentary setback. Momentary setback? Absolutely, and we've all had them. Justine, there's a solution. You can't give up. You can have anything you want in this life if you just don't panic. Trouble uh, is, I'm just fresh out of ideas. Fine, and let's go back to square one. Now, from what I've seen, Cagney does not take his friendships lightly. Oh, he's a regular Boy Scout. When I was in the wheelchair? And what do Boy Scouts like to do? Save the world. Mm-hmm. When they're not helping somebody across the street. Okay, maybe you need to stand around on street corners a little bit. Excuse me? You know what I'm talking about. Be helpless, bewildered, overwhelmed by the magnitude of the fast lane. You don't understand one word I'm saying, do you? Play the victim, even though I'm not in a wheelchair. Why not? We've all been victimized one way or another. Come on, you can think of something to rev up that old Boy Scout spirit. You may be right. I have not gotten to the top by being wrong. I love him, Mrs. Wyatt. Excellent motivation. Maybe not. 
Oh, for heaven's sakes. You are the woman for Cagney McCleary. You just have to make him aware of that fact, that is all. No man ever knows his own mind. It takes an intelligent woman to teach him. Cagney thinks he wants Susie's love because he's never experienced yours. Okay, fine. Now you have privacy. You involve him in your life. Believe me, Justine, I know what I'm talking about. You think that you are the woman to make Cagney McCleary happy? Convince him of that and you will have him for the rest of your life. Jonah's too excited to sleep. Well, he caught that from you. He's lying there smiling at the mobile Cagney made for him. Well, that's nice. Well, I guess, uh, time for me to go. You gonna be gone long? Yeah, pretty, pretty much all day. I have a class this morning and some research to do at the library. Then I'm just gonna meet Stu and we'll finish planning our party. You and Stu aren't the only ones planning a surprise. Oh? Aren't you even curious? I'm so curious, I'm about ready to bust. I, I even thought I might cut my class. I mean, all they're going to talk about is investigative techniques. I could practice on you. Well, come on. <laughs> Who, what, when, where, how? I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never tell me. Come on, who? Cagney McCleary. What? Marriage. When? Where? New Year's Eve. Same church as before. Oh, honey, I'm so happy for you. Aren't you even going to ask why? Nope. <laughs> Don't need to ask that. It's true, Aunt Jo. Last night, Cagney and I decided that we belong together. I cannot believe it. I'm going to be Mrs. Cagney McCleary and have the family I've always dreamed of. I can't wait to see the look on Stu's face. Oh, I no, you can't tell him. Why? Well... I'm sorry, but Cagney and I agreed to keep it quiet for now. Well, we'd like to make the announcement at your party, if that's all right. Well, of course it is. We, um, thought it better to be a little cautious. This time we don't want to take a chance on anyone or anything interfering. Good for you. did I get? A friend. That's why I'm here. Well, you're wasting your time. I've made a mess of my life. If you stick around, I'll only make a mess of yours. I don't choose my friends because they make my life easy. I choose them because they make it richer. Richer? More meaningful. Yes, Channel 6 reception. May I help you? Hi, Sonny. Um, hang on. Sonny Adamson on line one. Sonny Hogan. Justine Cagney. Hello, Cagney. Oh, um, is Cagney around? Yes, I'll wait. That might not be too smart. I bet I know who that is. Oh, I'll get out of your way. Oh, no. Wait, wait, Aunt Jo. How do I look? Radiant. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I guess I'm the last person you expected to see come knocking at your door. Yes, you are. Well, I came to see you. May I come in? If you'd like. Hi, Joe. Hello, Wendy. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm awfully sorry about Brian. Is there any more information that might help clear him? No, not yet. Uh, honey, would you like me to stay and help... No, no, I, I don't want you to miss your class, and I, I can handle Jonah. It was so nice to see you, dear. 
Bye, honey. Bye. I'll... I'll only be a moment. Okay. Sounds like he stopped. Yes, he... he has. <laughs> I guess babies are unpredictable like that, huh? Yeah, like grown-ups. Susie, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come and barge in here like this. I just... I guess old habits die hard. We always used to barge in on each other. <laughs> Never thought anything of it. You remember? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here. Susie, we were so close. We could always talk. You know, it was nice. It was a good feeling when life got really complicated. Um, I have been thinking about my, my life, everything that's happened. I've all these ideas, you know, but I, I can't really sort them out because I don't have anyone to confide in. I miss what we had. I've had a lot of time to think about my life, and I would really like to be able to share my feelings with you again. We have a roommate. I kicked Justine out. Look, I never really wanted her there to begin with, but Justine's a clever girl, you know. She, she manages to sneak into your life one way or another. And then it takes some doing to get her out. But I'm sure you already know that. Yes, I do. Susie, I know this is going to be really hard for you to believe, but I still think of you as my sister. We practically are. Well, I guess I blew that relationship. I, I don't expect you to feel the same way, but I was hoping in time that maybe we could be friends again. Why, why didn't you come and tell me all this a long time ago? I couldn't. You know, I had to wait till I kicked out Justine. I know it doesn't seem that I do, Susie, but I do have principles. Why didn't you tell me before Justine moved in? I couldn't. I wasn't ready to set myself up for that kind of rejection. But now I'm willing to take the chance. Susie, I've lost so much. I just really wish that we could bury the past and start again. You know, Jonah's, well, he's growing up and I've, I've hardly ever seen him. You know, I feel like his aunt. But I'm just a stranger to him. I guess he settled down, huh? Yeah. Once he gets to sleep, he sleeps peacefully. <laughs> Do you think I could see him? Well, I don't want to wake him up. I, I don't want to chance it. I'll be very quiet. Look, I'll even tiptoe the whole <laughs> way there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, but you'll have to wait till... Maybe another time to introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> mm. Stephanie told me that you were sick. I'm better. Oh, what? Um, no, 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 no message. <clears throat> the funny thing, I was just thinking about you. What a coincidence. Here I am. Here you are, mm -hmm. feeling all better. How about you? Why do you ask? You were talking to Cagney. So? Another coincidence? What do you mean? You forget I was at Bigelow's and Susie accused you of arranging coincidences to bring you and Cagney together. And since when is my life any of your business? <clears throat> Cagney and I are friends. I have a right to call him. What about Susie? What about her? She has ten fingers. I'm sure one of those can dial a phone. What good's that going to do if the line's busy? She'll take her stock out of AT&T. You're avoiding the issue. A thousand pardons. Have you always been this obsessed with lines of communication? Only when people try and tamper with them. Don't do it, Justine. It doesn't pay to manipulate people's lives. Oh, well, that's a good one. After what you did to Adair, you've got some kind of nerve giving me advice. Look, I'm not talking about Adair. Oh, you could have fooled me. Adair loved you. But that didn't fit in with your plan to pawn her off on your brother. Now tell me, if that's not manipulation, you tell me what is. 
You offered me some words of wisdom at Bigelow's. I just wanted to try. Glad to get rid of them. Mm hmm. Well, save your breath because I hate leftovers, even if they are my own. I've been there, Justine. Spare yourself the pain. Pain of what? Of of not being able to love? No, forget it. I don't have to play those kind of games because I have real feelings to offer. Then leave him alone. You can't make somebody love you. Well, it's a lot more honest than running hot and cold. Of course, what would you know about honesty? You're much too busy playing tricks on yourself. And you're too busy playing tricks on everybody else. Everybody gets hurt in the end, Justine. You look okay to me. Denial's the name of my game. How about you? Tag. And Cagney is it. Does he always take his bottle to bed? Oh, it depends. Usually he prefers his blanket. <laughs> you know, I've never seen a baby sleep like that. His bottle still in his mouth. Well, it's I was adorable. Afraid. I was afraid to take it away. I, I thought we might wake him up. I wanted a baby so much. I know. But I fell in love with Warren. It was so intense. I felt like no one else in the world mattered. And then we got married. It was my whole life. I felt like I had the whole world in the palm of my hands. But I didn't. I lost Warren. I lost the baby. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I just... I wonder if the whole thing was a dream. You're lucky. You have Jonah. He must be like a new beginning. Yes, he is. Wendy, I... I won't pretend about how I feel or how I felt in the past. Sometimes I hated the things that you did and sometimes I even hated you. But I understand the things that you've been through and what you've lost. I think I'd rather have you hate me than pity me. I don't hate or pity you. In fact, right now, I feel a great deal of admiration for you. It took a lot of courage to come over here and, and talk to me about your feelings. I appreciate your effort to try to make things right between us. Well, I'll understand, you know, if you want to still keep some distance. Um, I don't expect you to forget about everything that happened in the past. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. I understand. Still, I, I think in time we could be friends again. You do? Yeah. Great. Oh, oh, you know, we could start slow. I could come see Jonah from time to time. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, Susie, when I look at him, I feel like everything is just right in the world. Yeah, he's, um, he's brought a new meaning to my life. <laughs> yeah, that must be wonderful to feel like that. It is. Listen, any time that, that you want to come back, you're, you're welcome. You really mean that? Yeah, I do. Great. I mean, I must have done something right this morning. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> this has uh, been a morning full of surprises. <laughs> you know what? I feel so good right now. I'm going to go home and do my spring cleaning. In December? Well, it's going to take me till spring to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. What? Laughing at you again. Yeah, it does. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Wendy, I'm, I'm really glad that you came by. So am I. See you soon. Your housekeeping's disgraceful. I have better things to do. Like rifling through my personal belongings? Did you like my little joke? Yeah, it was a real laugh riot. Hmm. 
Well, next time you double cross me, it's gonna be so funny you're gonna die laughing. Where were you all night? Where do you care? I was worried. Thought you might be in trouble. <laughs> Wishful thinking. One of these days, I'm gonna figure out how I got stuck in this mess. Uh, it's all those maids and butlers. Makes rich boys very messy. Well, you know what I mean? Keep asking myself what I'm doing here. Looks like manual labor. What's the matter? You don't like exposing yourself to new experiences? I don't know why you didn't get Justine to do your dirty work. She'd be committed body and soul. Justine? Now, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. What are you talking about? You and Justine are after the same thing. Yeah, what she wants most in all the world is to come between Susie and Cagney. Oh. Well, uh, she sounds like a woman of many talents. Come on. Tell me more. Thank you.